Hi everybody, my name is Todd Brannon and I am the Accidental Excelist. This is video tutorial number 17 in a series I've been doing on creating a simple customer database application uh, in uh, Access, CRUD style application. CRUD being the acronym C-R-U-D, Create, re Read, Update, and Destroy. And so we've covered all of those. Let's go to the main form here. We uh, covered C, uh, Create. Uh, we can click on add new um, here and it goes to the new customer form where we can add a new form we can close that we can read by going to or clicking on the view all button taking us to the all customers form here and we've got some high level data shown here just four fields but then we've got a detail button that takes us to full detail in a form and then uh, we can update these records we could change any of these records we could save the changes or we could destroy or delete the record, clicking the delete record button. And uh, so we've covered all that. What we need to do now is we need to go to our main form and we want to code this exit app button up so we can exit the entire app. We'll exit the database, we'll exit the access app, everything. So we're going to do that in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're going to go to the design view with the uh, main form open. Now I'm going to click the exit app button to make sure it's selected go to the property sheet and on the event tab on the row that says on click I'm going to go all the way to the right where the button with three dots our builder button is and click that and the choose builder dialog will show up and for the first time in the series we're going to click on code builder instead of going with macro builder now we're going to click OK and it brings up a fresh new module sheet here uh, with uh, private sub sub procedure exit app button or exit app btn underscore click so I'm going to make a little bit of space click in, or press enter a couple of times I'm going to tab and I'm just going to start typing this is going to be an if statement so I'll type if I'm sorry if uh, space message box msg box and open parentheses and when I open parentheses you can see that the message box requires uh, an argument here for the prompt, but th then it has some optional arguments here along the way uh, that are shown between square brackets. For the first thing I'm going to do is um, start typing the prompt that needs to be within double quotes because it is a string. So I'm going to type the question, are you sure you want to exit? and close that in the double quotes and then uh, type comma and now it goes to the next argument this is a an optional argument if this were left uh, omitted it would default to uh, an OK button only type message box but we want a yes no button message box because the user needs to answer this question so you notice in the um, IntelliSense that shows up here, we have this drop down. We want to go down. We want to find VBS no. We'll click on that, press tab, and another comma, and we have the option to give our message box a title. I'll go ahead and oblige, and I'll open uh, double quotes and just type in quit with uh, parentheses. I'm sorry, with the parentheses, with a question mark. Close the double quotes. And then uh, just close the parentheses now. Oh, so I accidentally hit enter, but uh, this just goes to show you that we're not finished with this line of code and Access knows that and it's warning us that it expected a then or a go to. But even before that, I need to type in equals because I need to tell the if statement what is the option we're testing for. Uh, and it's going to be, you notice the IntelliSense again shows up here for us and we need to select VBS, press tab, and then type the then. Okay, so a couple of things here before I go to the next line. This is a if statement asking if the message box equals yes, which means if the user clicks on the yes button, then do the next line. So when I press enter, notice a couple of things happen. There's some capitalization that automatically happens. That's because Access recognizes these words. And so it goes and it, it just goes ahead and it capitalizes those as necessary. It means you don't have to do that if you're typing the VBA code. Uh, the next thing I'm going to type is uh, do command. And it's actually, there's actually an abbreviation. It's D-O-C-M-D. So let me type that. And again, this is another one of those um, 
key terms that you don't have to type, you don't have to capitalize, that Access will recognize it and automatically do that for you. So it's going to be do command dot. And now all these methods show up in this tooltip and it's got this little green box or whatever. It looks like it's speeding along. It's got these, um, you know, motion marks or whatever. Uh, there's a ton of these and what I need to do is find the one that says quit. And so I'm going to highlight that, press tab. And that's really all I need for that line of code. So if the user clicks on yes, we want uh, to use do command dot quit. So we'll press enter and notice it capitalizes the D and the C. And in this case, we don't have an else. So if you're you know familiar with VBA uh, a little bit, you know that uh, if statements can have an else clause. But in this case, we don't need that because we just have one option we want to address. And that's if the user uh, clicks on the yes button. If they click on no, we just want them to ignore it and close the message box. So we're just going to end the if statement here and just type end if. And then I'm going to arrow down. And then it capitalizes that I for me too. So we're good to go here. We're going to save this. Now I'm going to close that module sheet. And now I'm going to go to form view. I'm going to click on the exit app button and it should give us our message box. And there it is. It's got the title and it's got our prompt and then the yes, no button. I'm going to test the no button first. And sure enough, the no button just closes the message box and nothing else happens. So we just stay where we're at. So now I'll click the exit app button one more time and it opens our message box. And now I'll click yes. And it does in fact close our application. So it's completely closed, shut down everything. And that's what we wanted. So everything's going well. If you're following along and you got that to work, then uh, pat yourself on the back. Great job. In the next video, we're going to uh, create an auto exec macro that's going to open or, or when we open our uh, database file, it's going to open automatically to that main form. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks everybody for watching. Please take a minute to like and subscribe and be sure to check us out at theaccidentalexcellus.com.